good. This man, God bless his soul, drives me everywhere and I love it. I literally grew up in this place and I grew up in the village. Guys, these little terrorists eat. guys good morning good morning uh today is thursday oh today is thursday i am off to pretoria if you didn't watch the previous vlog i am back i'm in south africa and i am in joburg for a few days um yeah so today is basically day one of those few days it is currently 12 past 8 i feel a bit sleepy and i am hungry i didn't have dinner last night when i arrived i literally just put my bags took a shower went straight to bed i didn't even eat so i'm hungry um i think i need to pass by a seattle coffee somewhere but I, i'm not sure where it is from here Sorry? Is the exit this way? I can't exit that way. Oh. Eh? Hey? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, I feel like you're all gonna fall. Okay, let me let me see you when I get to Pretoria, because I feel like you're gonna fall out. December, what are you doing here? Hey, babe. Ah, man, I can't December. Oh, man. Like you have no options. I take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you. You've been terrorizing me. Yeah, I'm always wrong. You lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately Guys, my cousins and I are going out for late, a late lunch early dinner. The girls are dressed. What's this again, Manu? Orange and green. Yeah, one up. It's pink. Oh, it's pink. Hi. 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 Whatever and I would never hear. You've been flexing everywhere. Girl, look in the mirror. Man, you so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. Lately, it's you. Hey guys, 
so I just realized as I'm editing this video that there's bits and bobs of this footage that's missing. I think all you see is me at lunch with some guys and then <laughs> I think I fast forward that off to me going out for dinner with my cousins. But there's a whole chain of events that happened in between that. So cool i went to pretoria i had uh, my appointment which went well and then we decided to have a little impromptu lunch um with the guys those two guys are one is my best friend and the other one is also my friend we do business together so we decided to have a little year end function of our own and then after that um we left we had lunch at sun arena um is it Times square is it called San Arena Times Square in Pretoria? Yeah, we had lunch there. And then shortly after that, I left um, after the lunch and I went to a nail salon and I that's where I did my nails, um, which I absolutely love. I went there, I did my nails. Um, fun fact, actually, the salon, the nail salon I went to do my nails at is actually owned by one of my cousin sisters. She started a nail salon, I think, about two years ago. I think right before I left right before I moved to London she started her nail salon and I'd never been there so I made it a point now that when I'm back I'm actually gonna go there and this is probably the best 10 pounds I have spent since I have landed in this country <laughs> literally guys I did my a mini and a petty and both literally cost me 20 pounds which is around 400 rand so yeah i did my nails there it took me about maybe two hours to get a mini and a petty and she does it from her house so it was also good to actually just go and reconnect with her um see her house and everything and she has a budding business that's going well right now she's called happy nails um she is on instagram i'll try to leave a handle here in case you need a nail tech in london in I was about to say in London, in case you need a nail tech in Dilbert, she's based in Midland. And I think she does house calls as well, so you can probably call it up to come to your house, which is very convenient. Okay, after that, um, um, that's where I had this late lunch, early dinner date with my cousins. So I drove from Midland back to Senton to my hotel room to come get ready, which is the clip that I now show you as we walk out of the door to basically um, go out for the lunch and the dinner. So we went for that. It was absolutely amazing. We were we ate until we dropped, <laughs> literally, um, and we had some good good dessert. Dessert. We went to the hustle grill in morningside um honestly like if you really want some good grills i would recommend the hustle grill but i mean if you're watching this video you probably live in south africa you probably know about hustle grill what am i even saying but yeah i was excited to just be back and like see them and we had dinner and then we had some great desserts and then after that we drove back to the hotel and they decided you know what they're gonna spend the night with me at the hotel so we literally just had like a little slumber party and we're just talking through it and um we just we literally had a good time and i never got to pick up the camera to update you guys after the dinner uh, but yeah that's basically what happened until today today is friday um I have a lunch date thing with my with my coach and the rest of her coaches. Um, so we're having like a little get together lunch at, in Midland at some hotel. Um, so that's why I am all dressed in white. Well, I kind of look. I'll show you my whole outfit later. <laughs> but yeah, I'm wearing a white shirt and jeans, and I'm gonna put on some sneakers. Um, so I'm gonna go there for a nice um, lunch with the rest of the group and also get to meet them because we did this whole coaching thing the whole year it was online because there were some people who are based in London and some people are based in South Africa but in different areas in South Africa so this was just um, a good opportunity for us to get together I will try vlog but I mean you know it depends on how the vibe is i don't want to impose the camera on people so if i can i will but yeah that's where i'm about to head out to um now and yeah after that i don't have any further plans there are a few people um that i wanted to see but i don't think i'll be vlogging that stuff um but yeah i guess i'll see you guys later 
after the lunch um which is where i'm actually going to right now let me show you my outfit and then let's get going Bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk, yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Mm -hmm. Spending hours by your bedside, talking till it's dark out somehow. Can get you off my mind. Don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Maybe we should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just good. How are you? Oh, yeah, much well. Thank you very much for coming. Thank are you. you. Taking, are you correct to take into the hotel? No, I'm coming to the restaurant. Yeah. Yes. Early mornings in your dome, I'll be sneaking out the door while the sun rises. Cause I ain't got the time. Yeah, can't tell another lie. Mm -hmm. And baby, I know you want more than this. But you know I can't afford your kiss. So I'm staying for the night. Gotta say goodbye, bye, bye Maybe we should take it slow I don't feel too comfortable Jumping into something new right now oh, I don't really know anymore How to feel something again Think I'm just scared to fall in Don't wanna go I think I'm scared of falling And I really don't know how to feel again yeah. I don't really know anymore how to feel something again Think I'm just scared of falling Don't wanna go since I got home and it's been maybe four days four days yeah I think maybe four days because I got here on Saturday today is Wednesday um, and I have not vlogged once since then uh, literally just been taking it in and you know um, relaxing um, yeah but anyway today i just got the hunch to actually pick up the camera today is wednesday it is in the morning i am in the kitchen i'm about to do dishes you guys i haven't done dishes in a while <laughs> i lie i've been doing dishes every day since i got here um i'm about to do dishes now it's quite a lot of them um so yeah, I don't have any plans for the day, but we'll see what happens and I'll show you guys um, how we get along. But for now, I'm going to do the dishes and clean up this kitchen so it's nice and sparkling by the time my mom comes back. Hopefully she can cook because I don't think I want to cook for so many people. Because there's so many people in this house and <laughs> I, I do not have the muscle capacity to cook. For the amount of people in this house so yeah let's do the dishes okay guys so as i'm washing these dishes nay i'm thinking to myself how life is different now for me like honestly i haven't done dishes manually in a very long time like i would had i been in london i'd probably just pop this all into the dishwasher and like forget about it um but yeah i'm doing the dishes manually it's it's kind of therapeutic sometimes especially when you're listening to music and you're like 
doing your thing you know which is what was happening here like i was quite enjoying it but it is still manual labor but yeah i do the dishes with too because this is how we've always done dishes in this house um my whole life actually this is how we've always done dishes so it was not bad it was just a bit tiring but anyway in the house there are three kids right now one is my little brother and two of my nephews are here to visit um their grandmother aka my mom so after doing the dishes i decided to give them a bit of breakfast which is cereal um they normally have a cooked breakfast but my mom was not around this morning to actually cook them breakfast because i was not about to do that i was so tired after doing the dishes so i decided you know what i'm gonna give them cereal and two wanted cornflakes and one wanted wheat bake so that's what i'm actually preparing here guys these little terrorists eat oh my gosh like they eat a lot and they eat so often literally every two hours it's feeding time every two hours we have to make them something to eat like i cannot i cannot like i my mind can comprehend but i i do still love like spending time with them um and like just yeah being around them talking to them they're so playful as well but damn these terrorists can eat so yeah i just called them up and gave each one their own little bowl so they can go and have breakfast by themselves while i actually take a breather and show you some of the unboxings of stuff i got the day before guys i finally bought the mason barakat rouge 540 i bought this from take a lot comes in this packaging it looks so beautiful and some like collection garbage Let's see yours. Also got this one. Where's the other one? Also got this one as a gift for my dad which we will not open. We'll live up to him to do that. But I hope they smell nice. How does this one smell? I've seen this one, guys. If you follow Zizi on Instagram, I've seen Zizi unbox this Barakat Rouge one. And I just loved the bottle. I loved the packaging. So... I decided to try it out. I am having the best meal under the sun. I'm having some pap with some maro. I don't know what it is in English. And some bright meat. This is actually so good. So after we all have had lunch, I decided to take my three little terrorists out for ice cream because that's what aunts do, right? <laughs> we pack them in the car and we're off. Guys, every time I'm at home and my brother's at home with me, which is 100% of the time, I do not drive. I am a passenger princess. This man, God bless his soul, drives me everywhere and I love it. So he goes to Steers, he gets ice cream for the kids and we hand it over to them. Yay, we got ice cream. Come on, guys. Come on. Take one. Happy days. Nice. Right, And for the older people. Okay, guys. So after babying my little terrorists and buying them ice cream and feeding them the entire week and entertaining them and spending a whole lot of money on these kids <laughs> i decided to put them to good use to be fair they said they wanted muffins and um they wanted to actually bake so i set them up on the floor i gave them all the ingredients 
um we're using easy easy mix because I, I don't know what the muffin recipe is from scratch and i'm not trying to be a pro at this thing so we're using two packets to make enough for everyone because like i said in the beginning there's a lot of people in this house okay um so yeah one little terrorist is mixing all the ingredients the other two are not interested in the mixing but one of them eventually um came along to actually come and help out which was pretty cute <laughs> but yeah so he's mixing everything up in that bowl i set him out on the floor so he's able to reach everything we put all the ingredients on the floor like it's actually pretty good at this thing guys my brother actually likes cooking he likes like baking stuff he likes cooking stuff like he's at his happiest when he's doing like cooking things um and i feel like in african homes like that type of interest especially from a boy child is not entertained so every time i'm home like and he asks to bake something or to cook something i actually let him do it because as you can see like he's actually like he enjoys this thing he's he's in it <laughs> you know so in here i was actually asking him if the door is getting a bit um difficult to to run through and to mix up and <laughs> listen to what he said literally so cute yeah it is getting hard and heavy but as a man i can do it yep that's what he said he said as a man he can do it like i feel like this guy is a little bit too matured for his age you guys but anyway so that's him popping up all the muffin cups onto the trays and the other little terrorist eventually comes comes in and joins into like putting the door into the little cuppy things and they eventually put all the trays into the oven um one of them looks like they got burnt but they i asked him he actually didn't get burnt so don't be alarmed don't think i'm overworking them at the he bottom? was just pretending <laughs> wow too pet what's it Close. Thank you. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth, chef's kiss it is. Like they looked really good and they were well done at this point. But I decided to give them like five more minutes just to make sure they're all cooked through. But yeah, I did all the checking in the oven because I, I really didn't want them to get burnt or anything like that. So because the oven was hot at this point, I decided to do all the changing and the checking and everything. But yeah, they look pretty good, you guys. And they tasted so good. But best believe these were finished by the morning of the next day. They were all finished. Believe me. This is the finished product. <laughs> we're trying to create content. Guys, anyway, this is the finished product. I think these little boys outdid themselves. They look so cute, you guys. Let me show you one. How adorable is this cute little muffin? And they taste good. So, well done to the boys. Hmm? Hey, we're on a school trip, Lan. We went to PLK. Was it PLK or was it Kruger? Yeah. No, I think it looked Kruger. Like, I think it looked... What's that camp? Alitav. Going through my childhood photos, you guys. When I was still a little baby. A little pinchy nunu. This was me and my mom. We went to Kruger. And anyway, <laughs> this was me as a little baby. Oh, guys, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought? And this was my first ever graduation from preschool, I think. My dad had just bought this Corolla. What a journey, man! 
what a journey, what a journey. From Babeka, so we can go. Which one is this one? Oh, I was in high school here. And I'd, fa I'd won my first trophy for being an overachiever. <laughs> I still had hair, you guys. Like, I had twists on. Like, I was looking good in high school, okay? <laughs> anyway, that that go back. Where's that little brother? Yeah, it's my little brother. He's so much older now. Can you imagine? He's like in third year of uni. And this one was not born yet. So Go for this it. One, I'm not a person. <laughs> you are a person. But yeah, guys, this was our childhood home. I literally grew up here. <sighs> memories, memories, memories. I literally grew up in this place and I grew up in the village. And this used to be my little play area corner. I play here with my friends so we don't make noise for the adults sitting in the sitting room, which is this window. And yeah, that's a little bit about me and where I come from. I'm a village girl. What do you think, baby? Uh, I like to play your game, boy. It's not so fun. <laughs> Because why, why are you so good about what I gained, why? That is just so funny to tease someone about it. No, it's not fun to tease people about their weight, baby. I'm just joking. You're joking? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I was taking you guys on a little tour of my family home. I came here looking for some books. My dad literally kept all my accounting books from uni they're like in one of these rooms and i honestly have no idea what i'm gonna do with them because i don't need them anymore and they are outdated so i can't even sell them but yeah that's a little bit about me and where i come from well that brings us to the end of this vlog you guys um so here i'm just chilling with my mom you can see our little fit in the corner and my dad is washing um the car like my dad literally treats his cars as one of his kids guys he will wash them he will take care of them he will do whatever he needs to do spend money to make sure they are well like my dad loves his cars but anyway yeah we just relaxed for the rest of that day my mom cleaned out her closet i tried on a few of her dresses <laughs> which was so big for me but it was just nice to be in her presence while she does what she needs to do um and we just had fun you guys like i really really love being at home i'm so carefree like i'm not uptight i'm not thinking about work like this is my safe space and a place where i love my little brother loves to be around me all the time i love to be around him all the time too because he has that kid like energy and uh, it's just so amazing also spending time with my little nephews but yeah you guys i think this is the last vlog for 2023 i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for engaging with my content in the past year um thank you so much for being part of my community i hope and i wish you guys a merry christmas and a happy new year with you and your family or your loved ones and i will see you guys in the next year so stick around for the ultra which is done by my little brother i'll see you guys in 2024 bye hi guys i'm johnny's little brother and this is the end of the vlog don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on the vi this video bye. bye see you on the next vlog bye